Uh, thank you all for what is about to be a very long presentation. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, I just can't take this seriously. Just looking at him. <laughs> Every time I see this man, it's just like goes into my head. It's like, oh God, what is about to happen? Oh God. <laughs> all right. All right. <sighs> Serious face. <laughs> it doesn't need a, I mean, yes. Uh, <laughs> a lot of people felt like it did not need a sequel. So started working on some concept art kept uh, fleshing out the story and as uh, it yes. felt like uh, yes the the amazing uh the the, the amazing uh, trailer of seeing joel come in and be like are you are you really gonna go through with this pretty much <laughs> tricking everyone i mean okay so so i did hear like a few people theorize that joel is dead from this trailer but like what but like when I see this trailer, that that's not what was going through my mind. Like I was obviously thinking, "Oh my God, Joel and Ellie, and Ellie's all grown up. Are they going to be going on another adventure together?" Like like that's what I thought when I saw this teaser trailer. <laughs> Show them the Firefly logo. Oh my God, it's a Jordan. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god, it's the last of us. Oh my god. <laughs> and the fireflies have like nothing to do in the sequel. <laughs> Joel, oh my god, it's Joel. We're doubling down on those fears and not calling it the last of us some subtitle it's the last of us part two to say it's all one story why did you call the game the last of us part two if it if it does not continue the things that happened in the first game why did you call it the last of us part two oh my god Im imagine imagine getting a hug from Neil Druckmann, like that, that would be pretty awesome. <laughs> Imagine if I got, got a hug from Neil Druckmann, <laughs> I would be like, oh my God. Wouldn't it be awesome if we could create an experience that lets you safely explore those feelings? But you didn't explore anything. Like the, the you did the whole, the whole thing about the sequel is like, it's like, it's about perspective. We never got to see Nora's perspective. We never got to see uh, Maddie's perspective. We never got to see like any any of the other characters of what they feel about it. We never get to know like Abby's perspective because because what she said to Yara and Lev was so vague that it could like mean anything. She's like, I I, I had to do it. You guys did not deserve this. It was to to blow off some steam. It's like it's like what does that even mean? What do you mean? Is it is it because of Joel? I don't know. They were going to have a conversation with Abby and Owen, but then it cuts away and they have a sex scene. Like <laughs> this is so funny. It's like uh, we never get to know Jesse's perspective on this or Dina. They all just accept and go on this this and this mission. What what is there to ex what is there to explore? Like what are you talking about? The whole catalyst for what starts the second game is Joel killing the doctor. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> we have to retcon the doctor from the first game. We're gonna go back in time and show you that same sequence of events. This character that you saw is a monster. Oh, that was such a bad move. That, that was such a bad move that killed the pacing of the game so bad. That it to, to just... <laughs> The zebra! Oh god. I just realized the zebra on screen. Yeah, okay, so what what did I want to say? Um 
it, it killed the pacing so bad to just cut cut in it cut right at the in the middle of the game go back and and like take away all your resources and you have to upgrade yourself all over again going going through all this section again through all these sections and and do everything again just just to get back to that scene it's it it kills the pacing so bad that 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 all the people i saw who played the game just wanted to be done playing as abby just so we can go back and switch to ellie she's wanted to add more romantic intimacy between the characters oh god those are areas that I've been, I don't know, more uncomfortable writing oh. that stuff. Oh my god, what? It was her idea! After the first... I thought she was a perfect vehicle to challenge this notion that violence doesn't have a cost, because it does have a cost in reality. Yes, of course. It's going to ruin this. But if you're gonna make a game where... But if you're gonna make a game where the whole point is to get revenge on the person, and then, and then at the last minute, after all the all the stuff we went through to her not to commit feels like a complete time waste this is how i felt when playing the game i felt like i wasted my time but when the credits roll and the game ended i didn't i didn't think anything i was just I, I i felt empty and i was just like what like i was just confused but but then oh my god and then the more i thought about it i was like just like no, she should have just killed Abby. Like, like, why would you let me go through this whole game just to not kill the one person I came here to kill? Joel has crossed these moral lines and therefore... Be because she... These moral lines! Yes, because it's so immoral to save a loved one. And uh, the Fireflies killing this girl without her consent, by the way. Also, uh, half-assing it because... They were just rushing everything, not putting putting any further tests on her, making sure making sure that if there's another way or anything. No, they they they, they immediately fought to kill her, which which is like completely a, a weird decision to make. We get you through interactivity to really connect and empathize with this character. <laughs> yes, you, like you heard of it. You don't. Yeah, you, 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 an attempt was made. To, to make me uh, sympathize, empathize, whatever. An attempt was made. And then make you feel like I've led Joel to a trap. No, no, I did not let Joel to a trap. The game made me bring Joel to the trap. I have no control over this game. Abby has a fear of height and there's stuff we're doing with the camera to make you feel vertigo. That's kind of a cool thing, yeah. Uh, and that helps build empathy. It makes this character real. No, it doesn't. <laughs> She's afraid of heights. It's like, who cares? I did not care that she was afraid of heights. It's like, it's natural for like a person to have a fear of something. When we first released the teaser trailer, too many people right off the bat said Joel is dead. The blown out light, really. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is so funny. <laughs> it really fucked us in a way I don't think any of us are coming. <laughs> but, and, and, okay, it's like many people are like, oh, Joel is dead. It's like, well, oh, well, of course, a lot of people thought Joel was going to die in the sequel. Like, I thought Joel was going to die in the sequel. I didn't think he was going to die that way, the way you did it, because the way you did it was so bad. It's, it's, oh my god. How am I still going to surprise players and viewers? By lying to your audience with, by lying to your, to your audience with a story that wasn't there? Like, are you serious? Just put out the trailer. Like, just, 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 just put out, just. Don't lie to people like that. Put out the trailer and just don't show Joel's portion or something. Why did you why did you hype people up with Joel? Why did you think this was a good idea? I don't think this story ever glorifies violence against women. There's no bias towards women or men. It just so happens that the two protagonists of this What? 
That's what people concluded? That this is wild violence against women? Seriously? <laughs> what? That's... No, come on. So does that mean that there can be no female protagonists in video games? What is... What is this section? Um, because that feels super sexist to me. Oh my god! <laughs> what is this section here? What are they talking about? And frankly, like, women are the victims of violence, and don't we want to see women fucking fight back once in a while? Did people seriously think that? <sighs> what? We have... We have a lot of female protagonists <laughs> in games. What is this? No woman could have worked on this because of the level of violence, because there was violence <laughs> against women, because it is a video game. Yes. Or, or, Joe doesn't die. <laughs> yeah, 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 listen to him. Listen to him. What if Joel doesn't die? <laughs> Just yeah. that now? Now that you got that. Oh my god, Troy, babe. Oh my god, Troy, I love you. What if Joel doesn't die? <laughs> Sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah. The minor line So change. then what happens <laughs> is yeah, all yeah. of us become friends. Oh my god, <laughs> I would have loved this. <laughs> I would have loved to see a scene like this. I get called up to Neil's office one day. Oh, imagine being called up to Neil's office. That would, that f feels like a dream come true. Imagine that. Look at him. And there's like an. Look at this beautiful man. You think I'd let you do this on your own? Oh no! <laughs> Rest Joel reunite lie cinematic. <laughs> Oh my god, <laughs> lie cinematic, I love it. Oh man, this is so hilarious.